Well, I'll be damned. I've been thinking for the past couple of days. Right? I've been, I've been thinking of a, a, a little thing. Um, I realized, you know, the, the PS3 didn't use to uh, charge any money to play online. Xbox did. Now the PS4 is charging money to play online. Like Xbox is doing. So I'm thinking... Is Microsoft paving the road to something here? Think about it for a second. PS3 didn't charge anything to play online. Microsoft did. Xbox 360 did. Sony saw Xbox 360 does well with people playing, paying to play online. Now they're charging. So this makes me that's making me think. If Microsoft can somehow, with the magic wand, with everything, pull this off, if they can pull this console off, I bet money right now, Sony is going to follow. Think, think about it for a second. Think, 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 think. Think about it for a second. Sony's going to follow. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, Fabian, fifty dollars. You get games. You get games. Yeah, sugarcoat it. I see what they're doing. I see what they're doing. Dave, you gotta pay fifty dollars to play online on the PS4. Yeah, I know, but you know they give us games with this. It's fine. It's fine because they give us games. Mm. Uh huh. Excuse that airplane again. Uh. Wow. I really do think they're gonna do it. I think they're gonna pull it off. I think Microsoft is has always been paving the road for Sony to implement something. What do you think the restrictions are gonna be? I, I know it's not gonna happen right now. We, we, we have eight years, give or take, when the next generation consoles come out, the PS5. I think that's where it's gonna be implemented. If Microsoft can be successful with this, they're gonna do it. And what's gonna happen then? You're gonna have to either choose one of the two, move to PC, or just stop playing games altogether. Okay, you got the Wii U. Okay, you, okay, Wii Wii U. Okay, fine, you have that. But damn, I'm gonna think. I'm like, what? Microsoft, Sony could do this. Sony can do this. They totally can. And everybody's like, oh my god, Sony's the great guy right now. Yeah, sure. Yeah, they did a great guy. Yeah, right now they're, they're good. They're like, they're probably like, right now, behind the office, like, <laughs> <laughs> sons of bitches don't know what's going to hit them with the PS5. <laughs> like Microsoft pull this off. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, if, if Microsoft can become successful with this console, Sony's going to implement it too. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. And you know what? Personally, I don't give a shit. Because I'm on, I'm on the PC. I, I, I don't give a shit. I play games on the PC. So, I really don't care. Uh, but I, I was thinking, maybe I can get a PS4. You know, but if anybody buys a console, it's for the exclusives. So there are going to be people that are going to buy the Xbox One, regardless of whatever the case is, because they're going to feel like, okay, this doesn't really affect me. And as long as nobody from Microsoft Center is watching me through the mandatory Connect web webcam, mandatory Connect camera, it shouldn't be a problem. And then you know they get you picking your nose on like this to put it on YouTube. Hey, how did the video get on there? Me picking my nose in front of the TV with the connect there. Mm hmm Yeah. So, this is the world we're moving into. I mean, Microsoft console is not that bad of a console, if you think about it. Yeah, sure, the PS4 is $400, uh, you know, the price tag, and the Xbox is 500 bucks, but I'm beginning to think, will Sony include the camera? The camera that comes with, what is it, iToy? I don't know what to call it. 
will soon include the camera. Maybe that's the reason why they could drop it a hundred dollars more because a hundred dollars less because the camera's like a hundred bucks. So when you think about it, Microsoft is including a camera, which I think is freaking cool. Okay, how it could sense your body and your body temperature and your heart rate, your pulse and everything like that. That's pretty damn cool. And that might just justify why it's 500 bucks. So, are you going to be getting the camera? I don't even know. I don't know myself. If, if, if Sony's going to be giving out the camera with the PlayStation 4. So, that's going to be a little bit different there. But a lot of people really don't care. A lot of people buy their Xbox and don't have a Kinect. A lot of people do. Don't have their Kinect. And a lot of people don't care. So, a lot of people may not care for the camera. Yes, that'll, that'll be fine. Now, if dumbass Microsoft didn't make Connect mandatory, they could sell it with or without the camera. Hundred dollars less. If you want the camera with it, a hundred dollars, hundred dollars more. So it would be five hundred bucks. But they want to be controlling. And I'm beginning to think: Is this the way the future is going to be? And since the camera is is mandatory, they'll be able to detect how many people are in front of the TV. And I'm beginning to think that these sons of bitches can and may charge per individuals that are watching the content. Like as before, you're in a, you're in your house, you're watching, you rented a movie, um, whatever the case is, from the online store, and you and a bunch of you guys can sit down and watch a movie. But now with the camera can detect each individual person, they could charge per person or per group package which will cost subsequently more so wow i mean wow my why my well, microsoft wow okay um let me just go back to the fact here that how this sony could be just like microsoft they're just microsoft is just paving the way okay you just paving the way and Sony's just behind their laugh or they will face, be like, you know, we're going to probably be doing something like this. They're going to do something like this because I, I can't. Okay, yeah, you know, the only thing I have a problem with is the mandatory connect and the um, 24 hour check. I mean, that's that's retarded. It's ridiculous. So Sony might come out with the PS5 and it might be a three day check or a two day check or a full week check or every month check. I don't. I don't know, but they, they'll do something like that if Microsoft becomes successful with it. So what do you guys think? You know, we, I mean, I want to hear your opinions. What do you think? you think this could happen? I mean, look at it. PS3 didn't have uh, charge you for anything. Xbox did. Xbox did. Now the PS4 is charging like the Xbox is doing. Now Xbox is doing this. Then PS4 is probably going to follow. That's what I'm thinking. Think about it for a second. Yeah. You know? And go ahead and leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. And as always, I'll talk to y'all later.